Hey, I'll be honest. No, I wasn't really thinking about a self-portrait in the age of um, masks, but we will do what we can with these masks on. We know what we look like, right? Okay. Um, what we did last time was we were drawing our self-portrait. So maybe you got as far as I did. Maybe you didn't. If you didn't, get it done. And if you did, then you're ready for the next step. So we drew in pencil first so that we could erase things. I still have some stuff to erase, but I'm going to wait until after I do the marker. Um, and speaking of, we need to make sure that we're using permanent marker for this. So um, if you are the green person and you grab markers, just double check. They should be either Sharpies or the other thick black marker. Um, it's possible that these Sharpies might be kind of a little bit on the dry side just because we've been using them this year. Um, if they are too light or grayish or kind of bluish, then switch over and use one of the other ones, which are newer. Um, and these feel thick, but if you just point the tippity tip 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 at the paper, you'll get a nice thin line. So go ahead and just outline over the top of every pencil line that you had. Um, just be aware that sometimes you'll push a little bit hard and something ends up a little bit darker or thicker than you want. That happened to me on the eyes, but I'm doing what I can, making it work. So go ahead and go over every single pencil line with the permanent black marker. Once you get the black marker traced over the entire face, hair, everything else, then it's time to think about the paint. Now remember we were doing, um, we were learning about human -y. So after you erase any of the pencil lines, it's time to start thinking about the color of our own skin. So this is where we show community, but also how different we all are. And sometimes we actually um, check our preconceived notions of what we think our skin tone is or compared to someone else. So what your paint palette will look like is that you're each going to have your own. Um, you'll have brown, you'll have white, you'll have yellow, you'll have red. Some people might actually even have a cooler tone. I might even add a little bit of blue to your paint. But what we're trying to do is match our skin. Um, we also have kind of a larger brush. And that's because it's going to be really helpful when we actually start the painting part. But for the mixing, if it feels too big, feel free to switch. Oh, whoa, how about that? Don't switch to that one. Um, when you start, most of us are going to start with brown. That's the base of skin tones. So I put a little bit of brown, knowing that my skin is pretty light. So I'm going to add some white and mix that up and see if I can't match my skin. Oh no, way too dark. So now I know what I need to do, lighten it up. I'm gonna use white. Now, if you notice, I just stick my dirty brush right into the white because I'm not sharing with anyone else. I don't have to worry as much about contaminating. Um, I also am gonna put just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of pink, or I should say red, which will eventually make pink, into my paint. Because I know I have pink undertones in my skin. I mean, a tiny amount. Now, I'm gonna check it again. Mixing, mixing, mixing. It's still too dark, so I'm gonna add a lot more white and then I'll check it again on my skin, the back of my hand. Oh, hey, I'm getting kind of close. I'm actually, might, that might be it. I'm gonna check it on the other side of my hand and see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with that. So I'm gonna get my brush loaded up with paint, but it's pretty thick. So what I want is to have it be transparent. Transparent's another way of saying see-through. I wanna see those black lines. We wanna see what we drew already. So I'm going to just use water, and I'm not washing my brush. I'm just getting it wet so that it becomes more see-through. I'm watering down the paint. Now I'm going to go side to side with that thick brush, one brush stroke at a time, work my way up or down, depending on where you start. It feels a little too dark. I think it's going to dry when it, I mean, lighten up when it dries. So don't be too scared if your paint seems a little bit on the darker side. I did, if you noticed, I got a little bit more water on there just because I wanted to lighten it up, make it even more transparent. It does not take long to paint this. It takes us way longer to mix the accurate color than it actually does to paint it. So again, side to side, fill up your paper with your skin tone and imagine how cool these are gonna look when they're all hanging because we are a community. I might hang them in the classroom and I might hang them in the hall. We'll see. Oh, I lost my brush. That must mean I'm finished.